Hey, this is Dorian Day and welcome to Serum in Depth number 13. Today we're going to be going over how to make single cycle waveforms easily. So after all of the things I was going through yesterday to get single cycle waveforms perfect, um, I gave, I was reading the manual and I gave some more consideration to what it says right here, which is open Serum's wavetable editor and type 2048 into the formula text box, Serum applies, and now Everything else around here isn't necessarily important, um, but this right here gave me an idea, this type into the formula text box. So uh, one of the first things I tried after seeing how hard it was to make these with just an uh, audio editor, I tried to see if Serum could do something similar, and this is the problem I ran into. So let's go. into Audacity, make a new file, and I'm gonna generate a tone. Now, all most of the most of the information, the theoretical information from yesterday is, is really applicable. We still want to get a note that's roughly in um, in our case since we're working in 441, I, I believed it believe it was uh, twenty one point five nine hertz. Now, in Audacity, we can type that in exactly, but in our software with synthesizers, if we don't want to use fine tuning, then we're pr the closest that we can get is either an F minus one at 21.827, which is too fast, or F sharp minus one, which is 23.125, which is too slow. I think I'm saying that correctly. Well, let's give this a look. So if I create a wave at 21.827, that is 2048 samples long, then you can see over here at the end that it's we get more than one cycle for 2048. We start to on the upswing of another cycle. Now, if I save this as serum test one, I'm into serum. Drag this in. You can see over here at the right that there's a little, there's a little upswing. And I was thinking yesterday when I tried this, I was like, there has to be some way for Serum to shorten this. And there is. You can use the formula box, but you have to use some information from Audacity to get a good result. And the information you want to use is the zero crossing, what sample that's at. So if I use Z or hit Z or go into the edit menu. I see that my zero crossing is at 2020. So if I go into Serum and I type 2020 here, and I drag in that same file I just had, you can see it perfectly um, interpolates it, I think is the word. And now I can even export that wave back to the desktop. So Serum test. Two, and if I open that in Audacity, you can see that we have a perfect sine wave that is um, that's frequency perfectly matched. It's twenty uh, twenty forty eight samples. Now let's do the same thing, but where. The sound is too long or short. So instead, I'll just type in 23 here, and we keep the same number of samples, 2048. And you can see it's, no, I suppose this is the same scenario that we were just in. So let's exit out of that. 
I guess I needed to go under. There's something wrong in my initial calculations because I don't exactly remember the numbers of yesterday, but needless to say, you're probably just going to run into the situation. This is too short or this is too long rather than trying to construct it yourself. Now, the problem is, is that I have to generate, you can see over here, it cuts off. So I need to generate actually more than just 2048 samples. More like, let me try 3000 or it's too many, 2200. Okay, let's delete this top track. Um, so if we, you, we go to the end of this track, you can see that it's 20, 20 samples, just or uh, 2,200 samples, just like we set it at. And you can click right here and go to 2048. So we're too long. So let's try this. File, export, serum, test three. Drag it back into Serum in a new uh, scene cycle right there. I'm going to delete all this. Interesting. Yeah, if you look really close, you can see it's not perfect. There's just a little bit of space at the end. Uh, I'm gonna try and make that more extreme. Not wave editor. So generate tone 2400 samples. Uh, There, this is more than long enough. So, sport, desktop, serum test three, just replace. Okay, now let's drag it in. There, now you can see it's uh, the extreme issue, not so subtle as back here. So, if we go back into Audacity and we click X, or Z, we get that the crossing point is 2205. So if we come in here, type in 22205 and redrag that note in. Uh, you actually have to drop it on the screen. It's perfect. If we export this. Serum test four. Open in Audacity. Go to the end. Perfect, 2048. So this is a little easier than Audacity the way we did yesterday because you don't have to do any calculations. You just um, find the zero point and type it into here and then drag in that sample and it's going to cut it exactly like you need it. And then you can export it, and it's a it's perfect single cycle. And you can use that in what we're going to be doing in the next Serum in Depth. But I want to show you one more thing before we end. And it's how I believe this simplifies sampling other synthesizers and just getting single cycles. So I was doing a lot of other chopping yesterday to get this to work, quote unquote, properly. But I'm just going to export out this solid note. OK, show in Finder. And then I'm going to just reset Serum, drag this in, set it to number three.
Mm, actually, no. Whoops. We open it onto Audacity first, and we zoom in really close. And we find the first zero crossing. That's a whole, after a whole cycle. And we'll cut out this first one because it's not very good. This is rather particular stuff, as you can see. At least this program is finicky. I haven't found an excellent one yet, but this one's doing the best. So let's see, where's our first zero crossing after that? It's at roughly one, three, three samples. Let's see how this does, because I forgot I have to, you're supposed to use a low note. So one, three, three. And not too good. I mean, it sounds pretty good. One, three, three. There. Yeah, that's the best it's going to do. Let's try this with a low note instead. F minus one. Latin, show and finder, go into audacity, and we've cut off this start portion. And then try and find the zero crossing of this next point, which looks to be it. 10, 6, 4, 10, 6, 4, 8, or 16, 48, right here. So first let's export this because I deleted that section at the beginning. Serum, test five. All right, and then Remember 1648. Let's initialize everything. 1648. And, and if you look right there, and compare that to here, I would say we pretty successfully got just that first frame. And then you have a bunch of extra ones. You can delete them or keep them. Let's just remove them. And then we have just this one. Sounds pretty good. That's massive -y. And now we can export this. Serum test six. 
and open this in Audacity. Go to the end and 2048 samples. So there you go. Um, that's we are now pros at making single cycle waveforms. Uh, I've shown you how to do it in Wave Editor, how to do it in Audacity, how to assist doing it in Serum. And from here, we're going to go into Wavetables, which is a series of these single cycle waveforms. All right, thanks very much.